All right, so this graphs, tangents, cotangent functions. So I'm going to go through this, and this is going to be easy. It's going to be super. It's so super. All right, so here, uh, vertical asymptote. Asymptote is the MC Hammer and Math because you can't touch this. Okay, so it's going to approach it but never touch it. So. So on here, we have asymptotes. A vertical asymptote means it's going up and down. So I'm going to have asymptotes right here and asymptote right here. So asymptotes. So this pattern is going to keep repeating over and over again. So if you look right here, here is a, and it's going to keep repeating over and over again. Same thing, same pattern, all the way through. So tangent has asymptotes at uh, negative pi over 2 and positive pi over 2. Okay. Next one. The period for tangent is going to start with pi. pi. That's important. It's going to be pi. Period's going to be pi. So sine and cosine have a tan uh, a period of what? Two pi. Two pi. This one is pi. Okay, good. So same thing here. This one's cotangent. Cotangent has an asymptote at zero and pi. So if you notice, what's different about this? It's going down now, isn't it? Yeah. Cotangent is going down. Also, period of? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sine over cosine, cosine over sine. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to have asymptotes starting at here and here. And for cotangent, you have asymptote at here and here. So we have to figure out what the B is. Okay, it's one over B, and B is the number that we factored out of my argument. So let's do that. What's my step one? What's the amplitude? Period. So what does it start with? Pi equals 2x. So it's going to be? Pi over 2. Pi over 2, right? Pi over 2. Period's pi over 2. So the B value is going to be the number in front of my x. What's the b value? 2. OK. So I'm going to have to do this. So it's going to be 1 over b is going to be 1 over b? All right, no, back it up. Uh, it was, OK, here it is. bx equals negative pi over 2. Okay, there it goes. Okay, so I got B is equal to 2, right? Yeah. So it goes 2x equals negative pi over 2. And these are my asymptotes. So this is different than my previous ones, right? Yeah. Usually my step 3 would be my parts, but this gives me my parts. This gives me my parts. It, it's yeah, it's to actually put your graph where it's supposed to go. Okay, so once you do this, it will help us find the Yeah, get to your x values and then you can find the y values. Alright, cool B. Okay, this was the step three, the parts, but now this one's gonna be asymptotes. Oh, so there's a different methods? Uh same, same method. Same, same method. method. But this one right here. So what would I do to get x by itself here? Divide by two. Divide by two. Multiply by one half, same thing, right? Yep. So I'm gonna get what? 
No, you're not getting two. You have to. Uh, you have to get power. power. Negative what? Uh, Over. Two. One. Two times two is? Four. Four. Is anyone here paying attention? I got two people paying attention. Me? I only hear two people. <laughs> only hear two people. I only hear two people. Yes, Candy, and all of a sudden everyone wants to pay attention now, right? <laughs> so, I have an asymptote where? Right there. Um, negative power point. Very good. Now, let's do the other side. So, it's going to be 2x equals, what was the other asymptote? 1 over 2 or 2 over 1. What was the other asymptote? We're doing a tangent, right? Yeah. At pi over 2. Positive pi over 2. Divide by 2. Pi over 4. So there's my asymptotes. If they were pretty similar, uh, for example, like that, since there was just the tension positive and negative. Can we no, because sometimes that we're gonna we're gonna change it with some phase shifts and stuff. We're just trying to figure out where they're supposed to be at. All right. All right? So with that other stuff, I gotta, gotta try and find that where it's at now. And that's what I'm doing. Okay, so now I have that much information. So with this much information, I know I have two asymptotes there. All right, so I know I'm starting my parts. So my parts. So I know I'm going to actually be starting at negative pi over 4, right? Mm -hmm. Yes? Yeah. I'm yeah. starting at negative pi over 4. So I want to know a couple things. I only need to know 1 quarter, 1 half, and 3 quarters. Because what is my first one? Negative pi over 4. At negative pi over 4, it's going to be an asymptote. Okay, this is my start, which is my negative pi, and this is an asymptote here, right? Yeah. Good. So, we have those. It's going to be one quarter times period. plus my start. This is different from the other ones, so you have to write it down. Because I'm starting my graph at one asymptote, and I'm ending my graph at Another asymptote, right? Yeah. Makes sense. So we figured out where that start is, right? So you go to the ending point, or do you stop? In the no, I'm just going to keep going. So I'm going to have an end on here too, but I was going to wait to fill that so in. The graph keeps going constant, or does it have like it, a certain rate where you stop? No, no, it keeps going. Oh. It, it forever. It keeps going on. Okay, cool. So wait. right now we have the same parts as. Except that the only one that changes is that because we bought a patient. Yes, because, yeah, you're going to have all that stuff. But my start is an asymptote. And my end is an asymptote. So my end is a positive pi over 4, right? So let's do the math. 1 quarter times the period, which is pi over 2, and plus my start. So it's plus my start, it's a negative pi over 4? Yeah. There we go. And that's it? That's our answer? Is it just... You've got to do the math. Yeah, oh, okay. So it would be... Pi over 8. Plus a negative, isn't that the same thing, minus? Yeah. So my common denominator has to be 8, isn't it? Yeah. 
So how would I make this second fraction to be eight? Multiply by two over two, right? So that would be negative two, so it's pi, so it's two pi over eight, isn't it? Yes. Is that still gonna be the pi over four? Yes. Yeah. So multiply by two, so it's two, <laughs> which gives me negative pi over 8. So that means that my value here is negative pi over 8. Okay, can I rest my other, uh, erase my other asymptotes? Okay, because we got that written down, right? Next one, one half times period, which would be pi over pi over two, and then minus right. So plus the start, and my start's going to be pi over four here, right? So it's minus. Yeah. So it's plus the negative pi over four, right? So it's plus the negative right there, right? Yeah. So I get pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which zero. gives me? Zero. zero. Wait, isn't it plus? It, it, it's plus a negative. But plus a negative, isn't that the same thing minus? Yes. That's what I was trying to get at. So if you're adding a negative, so I had a negative pi, or a positive pi over 4 and a negative pi over 4, it's the same as minusing. We have two signs next to each other, so if it's going to be plus the negative pi over four. A positive and a negative makes a negative, doesn't it? Yeah. In math it does. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, that means the same thing. So we change it to a minus sign, so it means that. Okay? All right, so there's that one. Where's my next one? Three or four. Three or four times pi over two and it's gonna be plus the negative pi over four, right? So it's three pi over eight minus, the common denominator's gotta be eight, isn't it? Yeah, so it'd be four and four. Okay, so times two on both, right? Yeah. Two pi over eight, which gives me? One pi. One pi over eight, right? Yes. One pi over eight. Okay, remember, all these right here are my x values. These are my x values, and my y values are gonna go right here. Okay, I'm erasing. So, after I did my parts, what goes next? Um, uh, am, I, am, I, am I done with the parts? No. Right here, I gotta find the y's. How do I get the y's? Plug it back in, right? Yeah. I'm going to need the unit circle, so I'm going to plug it back in. So let's do that. So it's going to be tangent of 2 times negative pi over 8. When I multiply that, the 2 and the 8 will reduce, right? Yeah. That's going to be a negative pi over 4. And I'm going to show you guys on a unit circle. So I'm going to draw my own unit circle here. This is pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, and 7 pi over 4. So now I'm going to show you guys this neat trick. And it's going to help with the negatives. So let's count this. This is 1 pi over 4, and this is 3 pi over 4. What's this? 2. This is 2 pi over 4, right? Yeah. What's 2 over 4 reduced to? 1 half. One half, right? 1 half. Yeah. One half. So it's going to be 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. This is? 5 pi over 4. Five. 4. Five. Look. 
One, two, three, four. This is? Five pi over four. Six pi over four. Seven pi over four. And this right here is? Eight pi over four. Now, we counted forward right there, right? And if the negative, I have to count? Backwards. Backwards, let's do that. How many? So negative pi over four. So that means just one pi over four backwards. So it's gonna put me right here, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so we know tangent is what over what? Y over x. Y over x. So let's take a look. So what is the y value at negative pi over four? No? Okay, it's right here. Look, it's 7 pi over 4, isn't it? Yes. So on your unit circle, in quadrant 4, everyone put your finger on 7 pi over 4 right now. Put your finger on 7 pi over 4 so I know that you're following along. Huh? 315 degrees. I don't want degrees. I, I need values. Negative rad 2 over 2. The y value is going to be? Negative rad 2. Negative rad 2 over 2. All that's going to be divided by what is the x value there? Okay, that's going to be right here, right? They're the same numbers, but this one's positive and this one's negative. So that means that this is going to come out to be what? Negative 1. So it's kind of like divided by the same thing. So you have 5 over 5 will give you 1, right? So negative 5 divided by a positive 5 would give you a negative 5, right? Or negative 1, right? So this it's the same on top and bottom, but this one's a negative, that's a positive, so that makes it a negative one. Now we're gonna do the same thing for zero. So tangent at two times zero. Zero, what's the tangent at zero? Tangent is what over what? Zero over one. Y over x, which is zero over one, which is? Zero? No, zero. Zero zeros. Undefined is when you have the denominator zero. So this one's okay. I just can't have the bottom be zero. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay, now let's do this next one. So the next one's going to be tangent of two times oh. pi over eight. That's going to be tangent at pi over four, right? Put your finger on positive pi over 4, right meow. <laughs> 1 over 2, No, pi over 4. Put your finger on pi over 4. Oh, pi over 4, two pi over 4, pi over 4, pi over 4. Thank you. Rad 2 over 2. The y value is going to be a rad 2 over 2. The x value is? Rad 2 over 2. Very good. That one's going to give me a positive 1. Then I have my asymptotes at the other spots. I don't want to use that graph. I'll use mine. Okay, so here I am going to graph. Where's my start? Um, negative pi over 4. Negative pi over 4. Where's the end? Oh, uh, pi over 4. Positive pi over 4. What's the first one right here? The um, one quarter mark? Right in the middle is zero. And the next one's going to be? Negative one. Hold on, hold on. Is everyone okay here? <laughs> I, I think some people are like half asleep, mostly asleep, or just they died. <laughs> I died in charge. I died in my kid. Questions because this is something new. I want to make sure, like, I'm not just talking and people are just staring at me, nodding their head, and have no clue what the hell's going on. I need some communication. I need something to say. Hey, I know what's going on. Go ahead. Okay, what did you not like about this so far? Okay, remember the steps. One, two, three, four, right? Yeah, I just can't remember the steps, but like when you do like each one at a time, I know if I do that, I just don't know how to solve it. 
put them together? Okay. So are you writing all this down too? Okay, good. So if you do the homework, you're gonna have a whole lot of practice with these steps. And so you're gonna be able to like get on it. It is just repetitive, it's pattern. Every single time it comes out to be the same type of thing. What do you mean by pattern? Like it's the same method the whole time? Same method every time. Every time, the pattern, it keeps repeating. So every time we actually keep doing these same steps over and over again in the same order. Tangent's different. Oh, tangent yeah. was different, right? It was different. Because what was different about tangent? It was, uh, it was, uh, you have as asymptotes. asymptotes. You got to do the asymptotes, right? Yeah. And that's your start and your end. Yes? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So let's do this one then. So now we have a asymptote at negative power of 4. So I'm going to draw a dotted line. And those one at power of 4. Okay. Negative 1. Negative 1. So let's call this negative 1 and call this one positive 1. So negative 1 right here. 0. 0 and positive 1. It looks like it's a straight line, but it's not. Because it's going to an asymptote down here, so it's going to look like this. Like that. That's not what cos 2 will print right. Hmm? That's not what cos 2 will print right. That's a straight line. It's pretty close, but it's not. That's what it is, though. Okay. Not really. Let me see. I will prove myself correct. My function was what? I don't even know. <laughs> so it's in radian. Yeah. Tangent to x. Enter, and what's the piece that I want to look at? From where to where? The top to the bottom. Where is the start? Negative pi over 4. So right here, so I'm going to change the window. Negative pi over 4 to positive pi over 4. Okay, how high is it going, or how low? Let's go, let's go negative 2, just to get a little bit off of it, okay? Yeah. So negative 2, and let's go up to positive 2. So there is an asymptote way over here. If I zoom out on this, There's my pi over two, my negative or my negative pi over four right about there, my positive pi over four right about there. So this is what it keeps repeating over and over. How many of those do we have to do? One. Okay. So don't forget, like, subscribe.